Since the start of the 2022 season, Mercedes have failed with their car design. The W13, and now the W14, has proven itself to be slow, the wrong concept, and not a championship winning car, in a mistake so costly that it claimed the heads of some of Mercedes' most senior staff. This is the story of how Mercedes' car design went from the best in the world to a nightmare for Toto Wolff and Lewis Hamilton, and what comes next for the Silver Arrows. High Hopes for 2022 When the W13 rolled out of the Mercedes garage for pre-season testing, the world took note of its design. It was a car that looked remarkably different from everyone else's on the grid, and everyone, especially those within rival garages, were thinking, oh no, have Mercedes done it again? The Silver Arrows base in Brackley has become somewhat of a hive mind for F1 innovation over the last decade. Since 2014 and the switch to turbocharged engines, Mercedes have always been a step ahead of the opposition, but that all changed in 2022. The 2022 season brought in an entirely new set of regulations that essentially gave every designer a blank canvas to work with. Tried and tested formulas of the previous years in which Mercedes were so dominant were no longer allowed and it meant the team had to find a new way of being the best there is. And there were some very smug faces ahead of the 2022 season as they believed they'd cracked it. While other teams like Red Bull and Ferrari unveiled cars with sweeping or scooped side pods, Mercedes' effort looked as if it had no side pods at all, quickly being dubbed Zero Pod. It would prove to be their downfall. The problem set in. As soon as Lewis Hamilton put his foot down on the straight in Bahrain, the problem became painfully apparent and it was one that took every single member of the Mercedes team by surprise. Porpoising The term which every F1 fan became familiar with last season has not shown up in any of Mercedes' wind tunnel tests and now in a cost cap era, they had little choice but to try and make the best of it. Upgrades came but nowhere near enough to make them competitive. That was until the Sao Paulo Grand Prix late in the year, but this single win of 2022 would prove to be a hindrance more than a help. Following Brazil, Mercedes had the confidence that this car concept could work and continued on with it for the 2023 season, but soon it became more apparent that it just was not the way to go. Red Bull had built on their advantage, making the RB19 as dominant a car as any in Mercedes history and even Aston Martin had leapfrogged them. The time came to scrap the idea and go back to the drawing board. B-Spec car gets delayed Rumours of a B-Spec car for Mercedes have been lurking in the background since the start of the season. When they unveiled the W14 at their Brackley base, there was a surprise that it didn't really look any different to its troublesome predecessor. Mercedes seemed confident that there was some potential waiting to be unlocked with this concept, but it became pretty clear, pretty quickly, that they were wrong. If we go all the way back to the test and race in Bahrain, that was where we realised that we didn't have a package that was going to allow us to fight for a world championship, Trackside Engineering Director Andrew Shovlin said. If we continued on that same development direction, we wouldn't end up in a position where we felt we could challenge Red Bull. Shovlin confirmed that big changes were on their way, but they couldn't happen overnight, so Mercedes targeted one race where they would show the world what they'd been working on, Imola. Well, as we all know now, the race in Italy was called off and as such, Mercedes' hopes of getting their new car onto the track and getting some crucial data has been delayed. The only problem now is that the next race on the calendar is Monaco. We all know just how tricky it can be to survive a lap around the streets of Monte Carlo. We may only be five races into this 22 race season, but even this early, it's crucial these upgrades work as Mercedes have gone all in on this new design. Monaco will then be the make or break point for not only Mercedes this season, but also the years ahead. If the concept works, they have a platform to build on. If it doesn't, then Mercedes may go without titles for years to come. What does this mean for 2024 and Lewis Hamilton? Perhaps sensing the importance and anticipation surrounding his team, Toto Wolff has already tried to lower some expectations. Wolf said, We're bringing an update package that is going to consist of new suspension parts and bodywork and some other things, but I've never in my 15 years in Formula 1 seen a silver bullet being introduced where suddenly you unlock half a second of performance. I very much doubt this is going to happen here. 
What I'm looking for is that we can take certain variables off the table where we believe we could have introduced something that we don't understand in the car and to have a stable platform. We shall see what our baseline is and what we can do from there. But it's not an overstatement to suggest that the race in Monaco will define Mercedes for years to come. The problems with the car have already caused more damage than Wolf and Co would have thought possible. Think back to their title winning years and it seemed like there were zero issues within the walls of their Brackley base. Mercedes were on top and like a boss in the last level of a video game, it seemed as if they might never be defeated. But fast forward to today and it's a problem that seen senior staff lose their jobs and their greatest driver of all time perhaps heading for the door. As for where blame lies for this catastrophic mistake, Wolf has chosen not to point fingers but one man who is responsible is Mike Elliott. Elliott moved into the role of a technical director in 2021, meaning the first ever car he worked on was the W13. Whether it was him jumping before he pushed or not, we'll never know, but earlier this year, Mercedes announced a swap that saw former technical director James Allison return to his old role and Elliott move across the company what he described as a job more suited to his skills. But Elliot is not the only unhappy employee within Mercedes and perhaps the most important person of all may soon head out the exit door, Lewis Hamilton. Even with Michael Schumacher and Juan Manuel Fangio part of their former drivers list, there can be no doubt that Hamilton is the most important driver in Mercedes history. With the Silver Arrows, Hamilton won six world titles, including four in a row as Mercedes secured a record eight consecutive constructors' championships. But right now, he is just six months away from leaving the team. Hamilton last signed a contract in July 2021, and that would take him to the end of the 2023 season, and reports from Wolf and Mercedes ahead of the winter break where that by the time a Mercedes car took to the track, Hamilton would have committed his future to the team. Yet here we are, five races down in 2022 and no contract has been announced or is even close. Hamilton may have enjoyed unprecedented success at Mercedes, but contract negotiations have always been a complex affair. Hamilton's current Mercedes deal is his fifth with the team since joining in 2013 and previous extension talks have dragged on until midway through a campaign and even at one point left him out of contract. During the 2020 season, Hamilton failed to agree a new deal before his contract expired that year, though he went on to sign a one-year deal in February 2021. This was then extended in July of that year, but his latest negotiations look like they could be the toughest yet. Hamilton has undoubtedly lost faith with the car, but the key question is, has he lost faith with the team? Early in the season, he hit out at the Mercedes designers, claiming they didn't listen to him in regards to the concept and he's seemingly now waiting to see just what these new upgrades will be like before committing his future to the team. Even at the age of 38, it's clear that Hamilton is not done with the sport just yet, but his goal has always been clear, win a record-breaking 8th world title, a target that was only spurred on more by the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Hamilton has always said Mercedes is his home, but don't rule out him moving to another team just yet. The situation surrounding the seven-time world champion makes the Monaco upgrade all the more important. The once dominant constructor faces a future that could see them not only fail to win races and championships, but also will likely see their greatest ever driver racing in the colours of one of their biggest rivals. Formula 1 kicks back into gear this weekend with a historic and glitzy race in Monaco, but as the shutters come off, there'll be one garage that the world is focused on more than most. The race in Monte Carlo is set to be season defining for Mercedes and one that has implications far beyond the end of 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Tell us in the comments if you think Hamilton will stay beyond 2023 and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a release here on the DRS Straight.